this is Sarah with Keto on the Rise, and I can't wait for you to try this recipe. Amazing, crispy, keto zucchini fries. This is a quick, easy recipe. You're gonna love it. We're gonna dunk it in some marinara sauce. You can use it as an appetizer, as a side dish. Let's make it. from Keto on the Rise and it's time for another weekly video. This week I'm bringing you an amazing crispy keto zucchini fry recipe. Cut zucchini straight from the garden to look like fries with a perfect marinara dipping sauce. This recipe brings me back makes me a little nostalgic, reminds me of my grandma because she used to every summer pick the zucchini from her garden, bring it in and she would fry it up, she'd dip it in flour, dip it in egg, fry it up and we would have this uh, great zucchini and so that's a great memory for me and everybody right now seems to have an abundance of zucchini. So here's an idea that maybe will bring you some nostalgia but also help you use up that abundance of zucchini that you might have from your garden also. It's very easy, quick, simple ingredients and one secret ingredient that I think you're going to like that is the key to making this dish keto. So let's let's make it. I can't wait for you to try it. Okay so let's go over the ingredients for this amazing crispy keto zucchini fry recipe with marinara dipping sauce. So ingredients, like I said, are easy. You're gonna have one medium-sized zucchini, and you want the medium-sized because this will be uh, perfect for cutting up into fry sizes, and I'll show you how to do that, but also it's not gonna have a lot of seeds. You're going to use one egg, and this is gonna be part of our um, batter, our egg wash for our batter. Uh, secret ingredient is pork panko. So pork panko, if you haven't heard of it, is just pork rinds crushed up um, into a breadcrumb size. And this is what we're gonna use to batter our zucchini. Now, I have them in the um, just original flavor, but you can get them in other flavors. You can actually make your own pork panko, but I have bought some because I wanted just to try it to see the difference. I have made my own. And so I wanted to try the um, pre-crushed and kind of see if there was a difference. These seem to be a little bit drier, which I kind of like. Um, anyway, so we'll, we'll use the pork panko. In the pork panko, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of an Italian chopped seasoning, which you've seen me use before in recipes. I love this seasoning. It's just a blend of Italian type seasonings with a little olive oil and sea salt. And so when you're using plain pork rind panko, you can flavor it with any type of seasoning that you want so that your batter takes on the flavor of your seasoning. Very versatile. Okay, so we're going to have some marinara sauce for dipping. And one note about the marinara sauce, there are some brands on the market that have less sugar and that's what we're using today. So very few carbs um, in the marinara and we're not going to be using a lot of the marinara. So marinara sauce for dipping. We've got oil going here and it's heating up to 350. I do like to use a thermometer, so make sure I get that good um, fry temperature. We've got some freshly grated Parmesan cheese that we're going to be sprinkling over the top of our zucchini fries when they're all completed. And then just some sea salt and we'll do the same sprinkle our fries with that. So those are the ingredients. Let's get to making it. So I brought you in a little bit closer because I want you to see how I'm going to pull this all together, the battering of the zucchini and the frying of it. We're still heating up uh, the oil, and this is peanut oil, but you could use um, vegetable oil or canola oil, whatever you have on hand. I like to use peanut oil for frying. Um, but the other ones will work just as well. So we're gonna crack our egg into the bowl here for our egg wash. And I'm just gonna put um, just a little pinch of salt in with this egg just for some seasoning. 
if you're watching the salt, you can hold off on that part because we're going to salt them at the end too. But I like to season the batter up a little bit, the egg wash too. Okay, so the egg wash. And now we're going to add our pork panko. And we're going to do a cup of the pork panko. And that goes right into a bowl. going to kind of fluff this up a little bit. I'm going to keep an eye on my temperature here. We're getting close to 320, so we're getting there. Okay, and then we're going to do a tablespoon of our Italian seasoning. I'm just going to do a heaping tablespoon. mix that in here. All right, so we've got our breading ready. Okay, let's fry up these zucchini fries. Okay, it's time to fry up these amazing crispy keto zucchini fries. We've got our temperature up to the perfect temperature, 350 for frying. We've got everything ready, so let's get this going. So I'm going to put uh, some of these zucchini sticks into the egg wash and then right into our pork panko. And I'm gonna just roll them in the pork panko to coat. Now it's not gonna be a thick coating, it's gonna be a nice light coating and I'm gonna drop them into our peanut oil. Because these um, are cut up in the way they're cut up, it takes no time at all to fry these up. We're talking like two minutes and um, our batch is gonna be done. So you gotta move kinda quick. So I've done five this first time. Might throw another one or two in this batch. What you're looking for is a nice golden brown. And you will start to see the panko looks crispy and golden brown. And you know that's time to, to take it off out of the fry. I'm gonna throw a couple more in here. You don't wanna crowd the pot um, because it brings the temperature down quite a bit and it doesn't allow that um, that peanut oil to get all around each fry. All right, so we'll get those going. When these are done, we are going to remove them and put them on a paper towel to drain before we add the Parmesan and the salt. And they're getting there. They're starting to look nice and golden. So I'm going to put just a couple more into my egg wash. Just to get these ready. So this would make a perfect appetizer to serve if you were um, using them as an appetizer or it would make a perfect side dish. Let's say if you were having cheeseburgers and you wanted to have some zucchini fries with your cheeseburgers. Okay, let's see. I think these are ready. I think our first batch is ready. Ooh, they're ready. This is what you're looking for. This golden color here. You can see they look nice and crunchy. And I guarantee you that the inside will be done. Um, also, these are the last three I put in, so we're gonna give them just another couple seconds, but let me show you these. Look at these. Don't those look delicious? All right, let's take these other three out and then we'll sprinkle them with some Parmesan and some salt before we go and fry the rest. I like to do um, the salt and Parmesan as they each batch comes out. Um, I think it sticks and kind of soaks in that little leftover 
oil that's on them. So just a little pinch of salt, a little pinch of parm. Look at those. Okay, I'm gonna keep frying. I'll show you everything when it's done. It's that simple. Okay, last batch is done, and I've got them served up here, these amazing crispy zucchini fries with a little bit of marinara. Check this out. I mean, come on, this is fantastic. Look at this, nice and crunchy, and because we left the skins on, uh, that even helps with the crunchiness. Perfect, so delicious, and we're gonna try them here, but, if you have a, an abundance of zucchini coming from your garden or you've been given some or you just want to uh, bring back a little nostalgia that maybe reminds you of summers with your grandma frying up zucchini in the kitchen, definitely try these zucchini fries. Perfect for an appetizer or a side dish and let's give them a try. Let's see. Let's try this one. Mmm, a little bit of crunch from the pork panko, the salty Parmesan cheese, absolutely delicious. If you love this keto recipe, I would be so grateful if you would share this with somebody from the blog. You can follow me um, on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, YouTube where you're probably seeing this, and also on Pinterest. I will try to link the pork panko and some of the other ingredients that I have if you're interested in that. Uh, but let me know if you make these, leave a comment below, and can't wait for you to try them. Thanks.